So I take the time to make my breakfast in the morning. I usually will have eggs that I will add various Indian spices to, to try to make it different. And I will also make some chai because that is the most comforting thing to do at any moment in time. 99% of the time I'm walking from my place to the Whitehead Institute. I usually listen to music. It's usually one of three things. Taylor Swift, Bollywood music, and uh, this artist that I really like who's called Juanes. He is a Colombian singer who has a lot of really amazing songs. When I get to Whitehead, I will get out my computer and take a look at my calendar and what I have to do that day. So I actually grew up really liking math. What had happened was my grandmother used to sometimes visit us from India uh, and she was a math teacher. And so a lot of the times during those visits, I would learn math from her um, because she'd be so excited about teaching it. I really loved kind of the logic and math that came behind genetics, which is how I ended up deciding that I wanted to do a PhD. So the Page Lab is really interested in the sex chromosomes. And with sex chromosomes, female individuals are typically XX and male individuals are typically XY. One of the things to know about genes and how we read them is that our genes aren't just linear DNA. They're wrapped around these proteins that are called histones. And those histones can be modified in different ways to make some regions of DNA heavily condensed and silent or other regions more open and accessible for the cell to read. I'm looking at how the sex chromosomes affect histone marks across the autosomes, which are the non-sex chromosomes, uh, as well as how the sex chromosomes themselves look in terms of their histone marks. We know that we have these various differences in incidence or mortality rates or symptoms uh, between males and females, and we can't figure out why that is without the foundational research looking at, you know, what sex chromosomes are doing, what sex hormones are doing. I really like being able to pursue, you know, scientific curiosities that cross my mind. The cell proliferation experiment has been a question that has come up in a lot of lab meetings, uh, but it's not something anyone's ever tested, and given that I've heard the question a few times now, I felt like it was a good idea to try to answer it. These cells that I'm working with are lymphoblastoid cell lines. We derive these from patients who uh, gave their blood, these patients have different numbers of sex chromosomes, and we're really interested in looking at the impact of having extra X's or Y's um, on these cells. I'm gonna put these cells in these 96 well plates, and for this experiment, I need to put a thousand cells in each well, and these tubes of cells that I have over here have millions of cells already. So to be able to get such a small number of cells into a well, I need to dilute these cells first before I can pipette a reasonable volume into the small wells. If we see that there's certain groups of cells that are growing faster, we'd be really curious to dive into how that happens and why that works. So my day after a uh, lab is over, it very much depends on the specific day of the week. On Tuesdays, for example, I will be teaching a Bali X dance fitness class at the MIT gym at the Stata Center. I will lead um, this fitness class for an hour. Hollywood music, uh, definitely something I was exposed to growing up. And I then started going to more and more Bali X classes and 
decided that, hey, it might be fun to actually be leading them. I think that oftentimes people conceptualize exercise as a chore, something you have to do. Um, Bali X was the first time I really felt like I was having fun exercising. Some friends, particularly the friends that I've met through Bali X, we will go dancing together sometimes. There is a club that does Bollywood nights uh, out in Boston on Fridays. Outside of science, I would say that what really matters to me is the kind of connections I have with people, with my friends and with my family. And I really value being able to spend time with them and just be able to enjoy and have fun.